you know, it started off at school and then and I sort of got into celebrity impressions quite late on. It was it was more, you know, I would do lots of impressions and my, my mates would like, oh, you should do celebrities. And yeah. and it was back in like 2012. And I started doing like Andy Murray was, uh, you know, one of the first ones I did. I just watched him <laughs> lose to Roger Federer and, uh, and he was crying. I don't know if you remember, he cried at Wimbledon. Yeah. He was like, I, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> and I, and I, I did a I did a sketch about how he would he'd actually learned to cry um, yeah. from a teacher. And I remember putting this on YouTube and, you know, and it did really well. Oh, and then I then I went and I started doing Tom Daly. It was when Tom Daly was like the face of the games. And <laughs> I did a whole sketch about how he was trying to get his bronze medal turned into a gold. Um, and then I did like an Attenborough, David Attenborough thing, looking at yummy mummies. Uh, and then I did a down, I did, I did a Downton Abbey thing, which was kind of what kicked things off, really. I did this Downton Abbey thing, and it had everyone from sort of Mr. Carson to Mrs. Palmer, who sounds a lot like Miss West, who my science teacher. <laughs> um, and I did all 12 Downton characters. This was like 2012. And, um, and then Stephen Fry tweeted about this video out of nowhere. Yeah. And just, just got this notification on my phone. And it was like, Stephen Fry has mentioned you in a tweet. And he just said, just seen this splendid display of Downtonry by at Luke Kempner. And, um, and basically then <laughs> a producer came to me and said, you should write a show for Edinburgh. So this was in wow. 2013, beginning of 2013. So I wrote this show for Edinburgh called The Only Way is Downton. Did it in a tiny little 40 seater room, sold out the run within about three days. Then I toured that show around the UK twice, taught it to America, taught it to Canada, I was playing like a thousand seater in Canada, taught it to Russia, probably wouldn't go there now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're not up for that at the moment. Uh, and so, and, and I, I went to Spain with it and stuff. It was like insane. So I did that for like three or four years. And then I basically realized I can't be the Downton guy forever. Yeah. yeah. So then started going into comedy clubs and started doing stuff as myself, having already as I'd mentioned, being in musicals for, you know, four years before yeah. I decided to do comedy. So it's kind of been a whirlwind of stuff and it's taken sort of seven or eight years. And now I do feel established, but you always feel like you're at the ladder. You're still, you, you, you know, yeah, you keep, yeah. Keep, keep climbing. So yeah. 